The primary purpose of this diagram is to show you that type 2 diabetes is a progressive disease that is a lot more than just a little sugar problem. This flow chart shows you the sequence of events at a high level in terms of how type 2 diabetes actually develops. As you are probably aware, it all starts out with poor nutrition, a sedentary lifestyle, and that leads to hyperglycemia, which is high blood sugar. But that's just the start of the disease. That is a symptom of the disease that is not the disease. So it's important that you understand that type 2 diabetes is a lot more than a blood sugar problem. As we proceed through the stages of the disease, insulin resistance is one of the first key events that occurs. Then there is impaired glucose tolerance. And while that is all going on, your body is dealing with the hyperglycemia and the hyperinsulinemia. This in turn can lead to chronic inflammation, beta cell dysfunction, oxidative stress. These are biological processes that are going on inside of your body that enables the disease to progress. The next major event, the next major stage, is known as prediabetes. Now this is very important because if you really take a look at this flowchart, prediabetes is actually one of the stages that leads to full-blown diabetes. Now why is that important? Because most people who develop prediabetes, they don't change their lifestyle. They allow the disease to progress until they develop full-blown diabetes and unfortunately that usually leads to some type of medication like glucophage or metformin. As the diabetes continues to progress, as it continues to break down your body and basically it's destroying your blood vessels, that's why you start to have problems with your eyes and your kidneys and your feet and the heart and the brain every part of your body where blood vessels go you can eventually have a problem because that part of the body is rotting out eventually that leads to diabetic complications so again at the 50 foot level this shows you the sequence of events in terms of how type 2 diabetes actually develops and if you get anything out of this diagram, you should be able to see taking drugs will not stop the progress of your diabetes. So those of you that think you're controlling your diabetes by taking drugs, think again. In fact, if you think about some of the biological processes that I just mentioned, the chronic inflammation, the oxidative stress. Drugs can't stop those processes. In fact, drugs perpetuate those processes. However, there are foods, there are superfoods, that actually can stop the inflammation and can slow down the oxidation. Obviously, the green vegetables, foods such as wild salmon that contain the omega-3s, these types of foods contain the necessary nutrients that can deal with the inflammation and can deal with the oxidation. So keep that in mind and realize that the drugs aren't going to help you, but eating the right foods can help you tremendously.